What's up guys? Hopefully you guys had a good weekend. Uh, welcome to episode 5 of the vlog series. Vlog is actually, it's going to be a build that I'm doing for ASUS. They run a contest sometime last year and the winner theme was actually more of a cherry blossom build. Uh, so that's actually the build that I'm being working on which is this one behind me. Uh, let's go ahead and get started on, on, this, on this episode guys. <laughs> So I'm gonna show you just a few things that are done to the actual mod. This is actually a print. It's a build for Cherry Blossom, but also it's also representing some sort of art to it. But what I did here is actually, I did almost like a stack framing where it actually stacks up then it shrinks smaller when it actually goes in and to the actual print as well to represent more of the art form as far as this side here, which is a Cherry Blossom with peaches on it. That looks pretty sweet. I'm working on a, a etched front panel here, which is being etched right now on the laser. I wanted a white theme. So the GPU is actually painted white. This is a Tough Gaming 6800 XT. But the way I did it, I actually did the reservoir on the bottom here, kind of more flat and more streamlined. I used PEG tubing here instead of more of my brass looking tubes. Uh, the reason I did that because I do want to use more of the pastel white color from uh, EK and so once RGB hits it looks pretty nice once all that's said and done. Uh, but these are some of the modifications I did to that actual case. Heading to the laser to see where the progress is at. Uh, looks like it's still going. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera because the lighting is not the greatest but you can barely see it there. Three hours and 54 minutes so almost four hours just to do this panel to get it etched. So I have it where the power is set at 10% and the speed at 15% and the PPI which is the resolution at 1000%. When you etch, especially this machine, it's a very old machine so you just you can't do it as quickly as the newer stuff. Also, I found some of this stuff, I actually got this in Amazon. So the edge panel is actually going to fit here. So I'm going to have it right here in the front. It's where the edge is going to going to be at. Uh, it's more of a frost acrylic, so it just gives you nice modern looking feel to it. Very soft. And then having some of those cherry blossom plants on the side, kind of out here, going down like this, and out to the sides. So the panel is done, guys. It got fully etched. I did a design, the same design that applied to this print here added to the actual front panel as well but as an etched style so i'm gonna go ahead and just take out this backing to see how it comes out all right so here's the actual panel you see that guys fully etched so on on this side is actually matte frost on the other side it's more the gloss finish as let me see if i can apply it to the reflection there you go and you see that it's more matte. So this actually panel is gonna sit right in the front. So it's gonna sit right in the front right here because I wanted more of a diffused, soft look. The cherry blossom's coming down this way. So it's gonna look pretty sweet. Outer frame. So this will go pretty well once you put it actually in the front panel. So it's gonna sit like this. So it gives it more of a nice diffused look to it with the build. Looks pretty good. I like the way it turned out. Oh man. Now the fun stuff, cable management, which I gotta do that. Once I get all the cable management, I think it's time to actually fill up the, the coolant. But this, this is the fun stuff, guys. A building, it's management your cables. <laughs> no one wants to do that, right? Look at that. <laughs> it's always a pain. All right guys, so I finished all the cable management. It was pretty tough because I didn't realize how many connections this case has. So you gotta make sure your motherboard supports all these inputs. 
I'm running with a Asus Strix B550 Wide Edition, which is this one here. And it doesn't have actually all the inputs. All it has is just a USB 3.0 and that's it. But then you got two underneath and USB-C, which doesn't have a USB-C input as well. So it's, it was challenging, but I got it to work. I think it looks pretty good. So I just got to put this on, this on, on there, and then I'm think pretty much good to go. And the next step would actually be to actually fill in the case. Uh, but I think I'm going to do that on the next episode. Uh, I'm going to fill in the case and do all the B-roll stuff for this build itself. But let me just give you a tease of what it looks like. Check this, uh, check this front panel out. Let me turn it on. Boom. See that guys? Pretty sweet the RGB here lit. As you can see. This is gonna look pretty awesome. Pretty excited. But catch you on the next one so you can see the final stage on this. Peace guys.